So Zachary Levi, star of Shazam, star of Chuck. For those of you that haven't watched Chuck seasons one through seven, check it out. It's a good show. Uh, he made some news over the weekend, and I'm just going to say this. I am of the opinion that celebrity endorsements really don't matter when it comes to elections. I mean, in my opinion, all it does is alienate half of your fan base, half of your audience. Um, Michael Jordan said it best when somebody asked him about, um, I think it was about who he endorses for office, late 80s, early 90s, and, and he made the comment, well, Republicans buy sneakers too. So getting back to Zachary Levi. So Zachary Levi, big supporter of RFK Jr. Great. Got no problem with that whatsoever. He's his own person. He can form his own opinion. He can support whoever he wants. I wish people in Hollywood wouldn't make that public and make things out of Hollywood political, but that's a whole nother story, whole nother video. So back in 2020, he put this out there. I'm no fan or supporter of Trump, and I find his behavior to be vulgar, callous, narcissistic, and lacking empathy. And while I'm not a conservative, I know many who backed 45 not because they liked him, but because he was the only candidate they felt cared about their needs. That's important, okay? You back the candidate that they felt like cared about their needs. Okay, so fast forward to this weekend, or this past weekend, and we have this. I'm going to play the video for you here. It's about two minutes long, and it's, it's worth the play. And then I'll have another video right after that to play that's, that's also everybody, whether you're right, left, uh, liberal, conservative, whatever the case may be, really needs to hear this message from Zachary Levi because he makes an excellent point, which would not only was apropos 30, 40, 50 years ago, but it's especially apropos to today. So here we go with the first video. Hey, Dearborn. How we doing, Michigan? It's a beautiful day to be inside right now. <laughs> Hey, uh, do me a favor really quick, a little unorthodox, but turn to the person next to you and say, hey, I'm really glad that you're alive and I'm really glad that you're here right now. Just do that real quick. That's called love and that's called unity, right? We're here for unity, right? We're here to make sure that we value every single person. Every single person. Whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, whether you're a Libertarian and Independent, every single one of us is a child of God. Every single one of us is deserving of being seen and heard and loved and valued. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. Uh, listen, I'm not gonna take too much time, but I did wanna just give you a little context why Shazam is standing here talking to you about these various things. Uh, I grew up in my family, uh, Christian conservative. That was pretty much kind of the, the lane that we were in. My parents were Kennedy Democrats that then turned into Reagan Republicans. And they taught me to have a healthy level of distrust for the government <laughs> and, and a healthy level of distrust for industry that runs amok. And for a long time, I was like, man, I really want to find a politician that represents all of the things that I want and I want to see in a presidential candidate. And this year, I found Bobby Kennedy. And I thought, man, this guy, this guy's it. He's the real deal. He's the real deal. And in a perfect world, and whatever that would look like, perhaps I would have voted for Bobby. But we don't live in a perfect world. In fact, we live in a very broken one. We live in a country that has been hijacked by a lot of people who want to take this place way off the cliff. And we're here to stop that, right? We're here to make sure that we are going to take back this country. We are going to make it great again. We are going to make it healthy again. And so I stand with Bobby, and I stand with Tulsi, and I stand with everyone else who is standing with President Trump. Because I do believe that of the two choices that we have, and we only have two, Donald Trump, President Trump, 
is the man that can get us there. And he's going to get us there because he's going to have the backing and the support and the wisdom and the knowledge and the fight that exists in Robert Kennedy Jr. and former Representative Tulsi Gabbard. So please, let's welcome them to the stage right now. Okay, so that's the first video. Now, notice the humility, the humbleness that Zachary Levi displays, which you don't see a lot of Hollywood anymore. Now, the second video is the one that everybody should see, everybody needs to listen to and take in because especially in today's climate, this is 100% on target, on point. Okay, so there's Zachary Levi. Very humble, very gracious, very thoughtful, very thought-provoking. But let's contrast that, shall we? Let's contrast with Will Wheaton, star of Star Trek The Next Generation who just one day after Zachary Levi comes out, says what he says, very humble, very, very thought-provoking, 100% on point and on target, Will Wheaton comes out and says this on his Facebook page. Will Wheaton is feeling disgusted. Something I love about our nerd community is how welcoming and diverse we are. We are a safe place for everyone who has ever been othered. We are a safe place for vulnerable people to come together and safely love all the wonderful nerdy stuff we love. Okay, he sounds good so far. With that in mind, I think it's pretty important to anyone that supports Nerd HQ knows who and what they are supporting. So in other words, if you support Nerd HQ and support Zachary Levi, then 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 you support the evil orange man, Donald Trump. What a disappointment. What a disgrace. How disgusting. 
Remember what Zachary Levi was saying about the poison? How they're not our enemy? They, they have been lied to. They've taken in the poison. Well, Will Wheaton is a perfect example of one that has been lied to and taken in the poison that's been dished out there by the mainstream media. Quick edit here, gently pointing out, gently pointing anyone who is not aware of it to the paradox of tolerance. A place is not safe if you can't keep out the people who would make it unsafe. This includes non-physical safety and fundamental human rights are not a matter of opinion. So, we are a safe place for everyone who has ever been outed, except if you don't agree with me. If you don't agree with my opinion, if you're not in lockstep with my opinion, then you've just made this place unsafe. Hmm. Talk about lack of grace, lack of knowledge, lack of humility. And I get it. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. In fact, comment down below and share your opinion. What do you think of this? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, that's okay. That's fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Now, is it true that Zachary Levi probably has ended his career in Hollywood? Uh, quite possibly. Um, he may end up with the likes of Neil McDonough, John Voight. Um, just to name a couple. Who don't seem to get the big roles they used to in Hollywood. Now, I can't say the same for like a Mark Wahlberg who, even though he hasn't espoused his political opinions, the way he, the way he goes about himself with his lifestyle and, and, and what he believes in kind of differs from the rest of Hollywood. Um, that's just my observation. You can disagree with me on that if you want to. But it just goes to show how, how different Zachary Levi goes about explaining how to not treat somebody who supports somebody on the other side as an enemy. Now, some people would disagree with me on that. I know there are some on social media that say if you're, if you're a Biden or Harris supporter or a supporter of the Democrats, then you are the enemy. And that's fine. That's their opinion. That's how they want to treat people. That's fine. They can treat people that way. Me, there are some people, yeah, I would say are the enemy. There are others where I'm just like, you know, you're really misinformed. You, you've bought into the lies. You've bought into the, you've bought into the uh, propaganda that is out there. So I walk, I walk a fine line between treating somebody as an enemy or treating somebody that I just believe has been misinformed, been lied to. So there you go. Zachary Levi, you've heard his side of it. I've read to you Will Wheaton's side of it. It's up to you guys to decide. Hey, you know what? I get, I get what he's saying. I agree with him. I may disagree with his opinion, but I agree with him on the premise of the way people should be treated. Or you could agree with Will Wheaton. In his disgust, his disappointment, saying it's a disgrace that Zachary Levi dare support Donald Trump. So there you go. Comment down below. Why you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing, like what I'm covering. Um, 
If you're new here and you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, something free. And it helps support the channel, helps support what I'm doing. I cover a wide range of things from the entertainment, pop culture to sports. Um, I don't get into the news and politics a whole lot. I try to stay away from that, but there are times where I just have to call it where I see it, where politics and entertainment kind of intermingles or mixes, like in this case. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.